Hey, good morning, folks. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. I knew that would get your attention. We may have a 70 degree reading. That's way out into the future. We'll look at that here in just a few moments. And yes, I won't abuse my power of wearing tropical shirts, but it's 60 degrees today. I got to go for it. You know that's true. All right, so we've had some fog this morning. There have been some dense fog advisories that appears to be lifting pretty quickly in most places. Uh, hey, good morning, Jeffrey Jones from Toledo and Sandra Biskner. Uh, so not much going on across the state, just a couple of showers up across the UP. And thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Lush Lawn. So let's get into the forecast and show you what's going on. Here is the European model forecast. And uh, when I start here, you know, pick out, uh, well, Michigan and Illinois and Indiana and Ohio stick out nicely in this map as we started off. Hey, thanks, William, uh, for the shirt accolades. So we go through today and today is dry. Today is a nice day. By late afternoon, we get a southwesterly breeze, uh, not a wind, but a nice breeze, 10 to 15 miles an hour. And that takes a lot of the Lake Huron chill away from the east side of the state, can bring a little bit of a Lake Michigan chill to the west and northwest side of the state. And we go into tomorrow, and tomorrow now looks mostly dry. This is afternoon, and in fact, most places will be definitely dry and still warm. Hey, good morning to you too, Greg Maloche, hopefully. I know, daylight savings time may be permanent. Woohoo! I would like that too. I think most people would. Okay, so Thursday's dry and warm. Now we go to Friday, Friday afternoon and evening. And that's Friday night rain coming into Michigan. And remember, I've been watching this European versus U.S. model. The European, about two days ago, had the storm stain to our south, and now it's come it's come the full state of lower Michigan northward. So the European is not always 100%. The GFS was north, and it's come a little south, and they appear to be kind of converging in the middle. And the question is, will there be enough uh, cold air for some of the S word on the backside? I think there will be, but it'll be flakes and it won't be much in the way of uh, accumulation. So we're at Saturday morning. We're at Saturday afternoon. This thing is really slowed down. It was expected to move out Saturday morning. Now this is Saturday afternoon, still wholeheartedly in our area on the European, which is a good model. And then this is uh, Saturday evening on the backside, the colder side, and Saturday night. And that's why I think we could get some snow because we'll still have lingering moisture at night. And we will uh, have that colder air behind it. Uh, Martha Treadway, could you tell us more about Lush Lawn? I'm in California, so I'm clueless about it. Lush Lawn is a lawn care company. You know, they control weeds, they fertilize, uh, control grubs, stuff like that. So if you got the dandelions and you don't like them or you want a darker green lawn, they're the people to call. So Monday of next week, we're back into a northeasterly flow, and we can back down in temperature anytime we get a northeasterly flow. Then we get into Tuesday, and in a Wednesday, we start to get into somewhat warmer flow. And then look at this, the warming trend developing for late next week. Something like that right there, that's next Friday. If that were to verify, now this is the end of the model run, but if that were to verify southwesterly wind and that kind of warmth coming up from the southwest, we would be 70 degrees on next Friday, and there is Friday afternoon, and we would be 70 degrees in a lot of places at that point. I'll show that to you here in just a moment. Here's the U.S. model, and about the same deal, Friday afternoon, Friday night, 
It's got the storm system around. And then Saturday, this is Saturday afternoon, and it's got areas of showers around, and it's got that area of snow on the backside of it for uh, Saturday night and then drying out on Sunday. A little closer of a look for you on the European. This is Friday afternoon right there, Friday night, Friday night. Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. So it's now appearing that Saturday is going to be wet, and that could last all the way into Sunday morning. Doesn't show much in the way of snow, but I think that uh, given the time of the day, nighttime, and given the cold pocket behind it, we would have some snow that would mix in there. Now the good stuff, okay? How about this? We're seeing orange on the map, and as a result, yes, one of my favorite tropical shirts. Here we go. Today's highs, low 60s, very common. Upper 50s, northern, lower Michigan, uh, 50s in the UP, 40s in the eastern UP. Tomorrow, still in the 60s from Saginaw to Grand Rapids, south and east. And Ann Arbor, you might be tempted to go golfing tomorrow if you can find a golf course that's open. 67 degrees or so. A Friday, a little cooler in the uh, 40s. Saturday, a little cooler yet, except for the far south, maybe about 50, but otherwise 40s, Grand Rapids, Saginaw, Bay City, the Thumb, 30s in the north. Sunday, though, back to the 50s. That's a sign of spring, you know, behind a storm system. It bounces right back up to comfortable. Monday in the 50s, Tuesday in the 40s, Wednesday 40s and 30s. So we're still going to be up and down. Thursday in the 60s, and yes, are you ready, folks? 10 days out, so don't believe it exactly just yet. Don't start making bets on it, but if the pattern fits, uh, we could see this, where temperatures could get to 70 degrees by late next week. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Um, it's time. Definitely it's time. Got a post going up on MLive very shortly here about what shrubs and flowering bushes you can prune now. Is it too late or is it the right time? So I talked to an expert, actually my buddy Jerry Samalski from Bay Landscaping. I talked to him. He just had knee surgery, knee replacement surgery. So he was talking to me in his bed. So thank you, Jerry. And if anybody knows Jerry, wish him well. But uh, you'll be able to read about what you can uh, prune right now. Mine came in with worries. I got two hydrangea trees in front of the house and I love them, but they grow crazy. And if you don't prune them every year, uh, the second year, I think they would be just out of control, at least where I have them planted. So I've learned that, yes, I can hack those things back quite a bit. And so if you're looking for information on that, check that out on MLive. Thanks for joining me on the MLive morning weather update brought to you by Lushlon. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.